Hello everyone. Welcome to the section of word count example. In this example, we'll see how to write or how does a map reduce look like for counting number of words in a particular file. Right? Let's consider this is my input file. And let's consider each line as one block of 64 MB. Like we discussed in our previous section that our, uh, our input file will be split in re with respect to the block size which we had defined during installation of Hadoop. So if our block size is defined to be 64 MB and if we are considering each line is of 64 MB then these three lines would be divided into three separate parts. Each part is of 64 MB. This is our first job of splitting our input file as we had discussed in Hadoop architecture. Once we have split the input file, our next job is to convert this input, input parameter or input block into string. So our mapper logic would be defined in such a way that before that our mapper input is nothing but our offset address comma your block of uh, or your the actual content so block set re offset address is nothing but the starting address and ending address of your particular block so that mapper can go and pick that particular block and your next input I mean first input is your offset address and next input is your block of the content once we pass that as an input to the mapper mapper will convert this block into string and after converting it into string then it tokenizes them into words tokenizing is nothing but it breaks them into words so we'll have three words for our first input one is deer second thing is bear and third thing is river so once we get three words what mapper will do is it will append a single digit I mean a single digit one to each of the word yeah so we have something called deer comma one beer comma one river comma one this is our first mapper output and the second mapper output would be car comma one car comma one and river comma one and similarly our third mapper output would be deer comma one car comma one and bear comma one once we get these outputs which is our key value pairs like we discussed once we pass offset address and the actual content as the input to the mapper the output of the mapper would be key value pairs right this is what we had discussed in our previous section so our key value pairs is nothing but word comma one so after the out mapper output the next thing that would happen is sorting and shuffling phase so this sorting and shuffling phase are something which are internal to the Hadoop architecture which would perform sorting and shuffling on the uh, on the keys of the mapper output right this is what we had discussed in our previous example our previous Hadoop ar uh, map reduce architecture right so when we are sorting based on your keys so all the beers will come to one particular place and all the cars will come to one particular place because we are sorting I mean we are sorting on the base of key and then we are shuffling we'll discuss about shuffling later on first thing is we are concentrating on sorting so sorting on key so that's the reason why we have bear comma one in the first place second place we have car comma one and third place we have deer comma one and fourth place we have river comma one this is a lexical alphabetical sort on keys of the mapper output once we get this we have shuffle phase shuffling is nothing but the similar words will go to the reducer Sim I mean similar words will go to the single reducer okay so if you could see here all the beer comma one will go to one reducer car comma one will go to one reducer deer comma one will go to similar reducer and river comma ones will go to similar reducer 
so if you could remember our previous video the input to the map I mean input to the reducer would be key value pairs right so key value pairs is nothing but these things I mean the word comma once so once we pass this, that as an input to the reducer reducer will sum up the values by grouping keys so if you could see here it had grouped beer which is the key and summed up all the values which is 2 I mean 1 plus 1 which is 2 similarly we have grouped all the keys I mean it, we have grouped the key which is car and summed up all the values which would be 3 that means car comma 3 similarly we have something called deer comma 1 deer comma 1 so we'll group based on deer and get the final value which is deer comma 2 similarly we have river comma 2 as my reducer output so reducer output would be finally the concatenated result of all these things so a single output or multiple outputs can occur depending upon the number of reducers you are launching right so the reducer output would be the final result which would be the sum of the words that are present in your input file so main things we got to consider here is the input to the mapper would be offset address comma block of the content and then output of the mapper would be key value pairs so it uh, converts the input into string and tokenize them into words and append a one to each of the word and that would be the output ma of the mapper after which sorting and shuffling phase will happen which is something inbuilt to the Hadoop architecture so this is to make sure that the similar words are going to a similar reducer right so once we get the input to the reducer reducer will sum up the values by grouping the keys yeah so that's how we arrive at the final result of uh, the actual word count of the input records so like we discussed in our previous uh, section the output of the mapper would be stored in temp path right so the sorting and shuffling phase will happen there that means on the mapper output it would be happening right so once after the sorting and shuffling is happening the reducer will pick the results from the temp path and it will arrive at the final result and the final result will be stored in HDFS and of course that output would be replicated into three factor so this is how a word count will be performed or can be performed using MapReduce so in our next section we will be looking at the actual code for which uh, in, in using which we can perform this word count example and we'll we'll see how to write a mapper class how to write a reducer class and to drive this mapper class and reducer class we'll have to write something called driver class okay we'll see how to write all these three classes after which we'll see how to create a jar file and how to take it into your local file system and execute it and see your output results that's it for this particular video Hope you had enjoyed watching this video. Thank you so much for watching this video. Bye-bye.